Hi, right, once again, I'm pumped. I'm super excited to be here. We're going to talk about a very interesting topic. This is why voiceover is the best side hustle. Hands down, the best side hustle that you can do to make money, extra money on the side from home, anywhere in the world actually, as long as you have a Wi Fi connection. I'm super pumped to be talking about this. <clears throat> I did a live stream earlier today. And we had an amazing turnaround. A lot of people uh, who were very curious and excited to learn about voiceover. So I'm super excited to talk about it. Guys, as you're coming in, feel free to ask questions in the chat. I'm going to start off by telling you my story and then telling you the reasons why recording voiceovers from home with a USB mic is going to be the best way to make money on the side. So let me just start off with how I started. <clears throat> I'm a normal guy. My name's Chris. I was going to college. I had a normal job and I was making money You know, I was working. I came home one day to do some homework. I went onto my laptop. I saw this ad for a website that is for freelancers. A lot of you guys know that as Fiverr. It's one of the biggest websites online for freelancers. <clears throat> And you can offer any sort of service. You can offer uh, poetry, video editing, you can offer artwork, you can offer any sort of service that you can think of, you can offer it on that website. And so I thought that was the coolest thing that I've ever heard of because I'm a very creative person. I love to create and be creative. <clears throat> so I thought, what could I do? What, how could I make money here? And I decided to do artwork because I like to draw, and I like to uh, make digital art. So that's what I started doing. I did digital art and that helped me make a little side hustle a little extra money on the side um, So it actually started with art and I I was just happy. I was I was amazed, you know I was getting paid to do something. I love to do uh, So I thought what else could I do? What else could I offer? I don't know if it was destiny I don't know what gave me the idea, but I thought you know what? Why don't I offer voiceovers? <clears throat> I did take some acting classes in high school and I did some speech classes in college so maybe that kind of inspired me a little bit. But I decided to start doing voiceovers and I didn't have any gear. I didn't have anything. I was living with my parents in my room upstairs and all I had was my laptop and my voice. So I actually started recording uh, voices on the, on the mic built onto my laptop <clears throat> which I don't recommend actually invest in a mic, but I didn't know any better. So I used the mic built into my laptop and I did start getting some orders. The customers liked them. So as I made money, I invested it into a microphone. I got a cheap $50 USB mic, which got me some more orders. From there, I upgraded the mic to a $130 mic and now to the mic I use, which is a $250 Yeti Pro. So a very very interesting story if I do say so myself and <clears throat> I'm gonna ju jump into why it's the best side hustle so voiceovers is recording any sort of script with your voice for some sort of application whether that's audiobooks commercials radio ads mobile apps a video game cartoon characters anything that requires your voice that's a voiceover anything that uses your voice in media that's a voiceover so <clears throat> here's why recording voiceovers is the best side hustle. Hands down. Number one, you can do it from anywhere with the Wi-Fi. So that means you can do it from home. You don't have to drive to an office or a studio or to a client somewhere. So that's no commute, no gas, the comfort of your home. So actually that's two reasons right there. You can do it from anywhere and you don't have to commute anywhere. So as long as you have Wi-Fi and your mic and a laptop, you can record voiceovers. Um, the second reason, it's fun. This is something different, something interesting, something that challenges you, something that allows you to express yourself and you become a better speaker. So you're gaining skills, you're gaining a different skill set, you're gaining confidence when you speak, you learn to enunciate better. Um, and it's a lot of fun. You, you never know what kind of project you're gonna get. One day, you could be the voice of an arcade machine. I was, <clears throat> and so I got paid to say, game over, insert coin to play again. Uh, high score, two player, excellent, power up, 
So I was getting paid to make voices like that. Um, and then the next day, you could get something like an audiobook. Romeo and Juliet, chapter one. To be or not to be, that is the question. Chapter two. So you get all kinds of interesting projects and you never, you never know what, it, what you're gonna get. And that's, that's what keeps you on your toes. That's what makes this interesting because a lot of jobs are so routine, right? A lot of side hustles even are routine. It's the same thing over and over and over again. With voiceover, you're always gonna get something different. You're gonna get customers who need different types of voices or need you for different types of jobs. So that's the other reason why voiceovers is one of the best, if not the best side hustle. Uh, the, the third thing is that it's low cost. Again, you can use the mic, uh, well, you can use the laptop you already have, and you can invest in a USB mic, so it doesn't, it's not expensive. You know, you don't have to have a big old fancy studio. You don't have to invest thousands in equipment. Um, contrary to popular belief, you just need your laptop and a simple but effective USB mic. Um, and your voice, of course. So that's another reason why it's great. You don't have to you know, spend money on materials or ingredients or again, commuting, gas. So the expenses to operate it are low. That's another reason. And let's see, there's so many reasons, but it's fun, no commute, you can do it from anywhere, no cost, low cost to operate, the gear is not expensive, and you don't have to have this perfect voice, you don't have to have this voice of the gods, you don't gotta sound like Morgan Freeman or the movie trailer guy. Like I said, I'm a normal guy, when I started this, I was just a simple normal guy going to college, I was, you know, I had a retail job. And this is just something I did on the side. It was a side hustle essentially. And I was, I remember being at work, getting off of work and being excited to go home and record voiceovers. I was always looking forward to it. Um, that being said, what else, what else? I love doing it. I grew side hustle, the voiceovers into my main thing. This is what I do now as a main gig. So what started as a side hustle is now my main focus. It's allowed me to travel. It's allowed me to leave my boring, horrible retail job. And uh, I love it. Life has just been great ever since. And so that's why I'm here today is to kind of show this amazing world of voiceover to you guys. I'm here to answer your questions. I'm here to give you insights into the industry. I'm an open book, so I invite you to ask me any sort of questions, make any sort of comments that you'd like. Um, it doesn't even have to be about voiceover. If there's something you want to know about me, we're here to hang out, have fun, kind of relax, have a good time, and learn about this amazing skill. Um, so yes, please leave some questions. What else? There's another reason why voiceover is one of the best side hustles. Um, you can do it from anywhere. There's some, let's see, I've, I've already listed four, about four reasons. But yeah, go ahead and start asking some questions there. And you get a lot of positive reinforcement too. Every time you do an order, a customer will leave you a five-star review. They'll say, this is amazing. You brought my script or my character to life. Uh, so I do enjoy that a lot. What else? Oh, I was going to say, it's a flexible side, side hustle. So because you don't have to commute anywhere or get materials, you can literally fit this into any schedule. You can do this before school, you can do this after work. It doesn't take a long time to record and edit. Um, a lot of my projects I get done relatively quickly, 10, 20, 30 minutes. The most I work is an hour a day, even now, believe it or not. And I'm not saying that's a brag, it's just, it's true. Over time you get more efficient with the process, with editing. So you get really fast, um, kind of like a chef in a kitchen when he's chopping up veggies. Have you seen him chop super fast, right? That's because he's been doing it for so many years. He has all this experience that is just smooth. And so again, it's a flexible thing. You can fit into your schedule easily because you're doing it from home. Um, all you need is a USB mic, your voice, train up, and uh, you can get going. So that is, Kind of my story, a little bit of insight, kind of the pros of why voiceover is such an amazing side hustle. There's so many more reasons too, but those were some of the main ones that I could think of off the top of my head. I'm gonna take a little sip here and then I'll go ahead and dive into the questions. And um, earlier today we hit 23,000 likes. So it's gonna be really tough to beat, but who knows, maybe we can get there. It looks like we're already at 
540 likes. So thank you guys for the love. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Water is a voiceover artist's best friend. So always be drinking on water. Always sip some water. <sighs> Much better. All right, let's dive on into the questions. I'm gonna start at the top. So if I miss your question, I apologize. Go ahead and ask it again. TikTok does this thing where they send me 50 questions all at once. So if I skip over down exit, um, just ask again or just be patient. I'll get to yours. How did you get your first client? Good question. So I actually had to hustle a little bit more in the beginning. It's always going to be just a little bit tougher in the beginning. Um, because you don't have a reputation yet. You don't have any reviews yet. Nobody knows who you are So naturally it is gonna require a little bit more effort a little bit more hustling But be dedicated. Don't let that discourage you. Um, I Made it happen. Like I said, I didn't have a reputation. I never had done it before But I stuck to it and I made it happen. So it took me about Or that's how I got my first client. I was reaching out. I was sending messages. I had a demo reel which I could showcase um, and the demo reel is going to be very important and very powerful for you to convince people to work with you. I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but uh, I'm going to get to the next question here. How do I get started? Where do you start? So the most important thing is your voice. In voiceover, it's more important than the mic, more important than the booth, more important than anything is your voice, how you sound, your personality. And that's not to say that you have to sound like this perfect like a like you, have, you don't have to have a perfect voice you don't have to have this movie trailer voice this voice from the gods um it just means that you need to learn the foundation of a good voiceover what makes a good voiceover good and those are things like your pauses your speed emphasizing certain words um, your flow your style all of these together make an outstanding voiceover and you can do this if you have an accent, a different, you know, all there's a need for all kinds of voices. So that's the good thing about this. What mic? This mic is the Yeti Pro. Um, you can also use the Yeti, which is a little bit more affordable. Like I said, when I started out, I didn't have any mic. Um, my first mic was a $50 USB mic and I made it happen from there. Uh, and we're at almost 2000 likes. That is pretty amazing, guys. That is awesome. Round of applause there. Thank you for the love. So that's kind of how I got started. I am blessed beyond belief to be here with you all. I'm blessed here to be with you guys. I do Fiverr, quit day job as well. Exactly, so there you go. The opportunities on Fiverr exist, they're real. We have a comment right there that says he quit his day job. So I'm not the only one and I'm bringing it to light here. So yes, it is a very real thing people have invested into this they've learned the craft and they have been able to quit their day job just like i did have you done any video games i have done a couple of uh video games um one that i did recently is a character for a game on the nintendo switch believe it or not um, i'm super excited about that and i believe it's a racing game so I'm the voice of the team captain, which is this crazy kind of old man who kind of talks like this. All right, get ready. On your marks, get set, go. Power up, watch out, steer left, steer right. That's the actual voice that I used in the game. Um, I hope that didn't scare you guys. Um, you know, voice voice actor here, he's gonna he's gonna do voices sometimes. So, um, but it's, it's uh, very exciting. So yes, I have done video games. Double tapping your screen is a free way to help the channel. Yes, thank you, Chris Poet. I appreciate that very much. Double tap the screen, give some likes. Like I said, we hit 23,000 likes today. So I think you guys you know, are, are very well in a good spot to beat the record. That's the most likes I've ever gotten on, uh, on a live, by the way. What is voiceover? So quite simply, voiceover is when a company gives you a script and you record that script using a microphone and that audio is used in any sort of media. That can be an audiobook, that can be a commercial, an ad, um, that could be even a voicemail at the doctor's office. You have reached Dr. Taylor. 
We're outside of office hours. Please leave a message. Um, that could be, you know, the announcements at the grocery store. We have a sale on bananas, five for one. Only the freshest ingredients here at Grocery Outlet. Grocery Outlet, bargain market. That's a voiceover. As I mentioned, video games, um, cartoons, um, dubbing, narration, uh, arcade machines, you know. Game over, insert coin to play again. Round two, start. Um, so all of those are different genres and different applications for voiceovers. And there's companies that need all kinds of voiceovers, male, female, young, old, 20, 30, 40, 50 year old, 60 year old. There's no age for voiceovers. Literally, there's an, a need for every kind of voice. There's a company that would hear your voice and say, that's the one, that's the one. We want that voice, we want your voice. Um, like I said, I'm a normal guy, I have a normal voice. Um, you should have heard me when I started. I didn't sound like this. I've learned to enunciate a lot better and be more confident on the mic. But I had a normal voice and that's why I'm telling you why this is such a great side hustle because it's so attainable. If you really invest in yourself, if you jump in and, and commit, to your, commit to this, to learning the art, it's very attainable. And we're at 3,000 likes already, so very cool. I'm gonna thanks for the love, guys. It means a lot. Dude is legit. Yes, sir. How do I get started? How's the pay? The pay is great. Um, it started off as just an order here and there, which turned into gas money, which turned into grocery money. So yes, it was very much a side hustle. And then I grew it to my main thing. And now on average, I'm doing about three to five K with my best month being around eight K, uh, working about an hour a day tops. So it's given me a lot of freedom. So that's one of the biggest perks about this side hustle is how attainable and how, um, how quick, how much, how little time it takes to record once you kind of learn the art and craft. Uh, so prices. So the way that I price is by word count. If you're the company, you're going to give me a script and I'm going to count up the words in the, in your script. And then I'm going to ask you, what are you going to, what kind of, um, usage are you going to use my voice for? Are you going to use it to broadcast on a national commercial? Is this just going on your website? Um, is this just a personal project? So depending on how you're going to use the voice, I'm going to uh, sell you the rights, either commercial rights, broadcasting rights. These are different licenses that a company needs to be able to use your voice. And the great thing about that is it's no extra work on your part. It's literally, you don't have to work anything, any, any extra for that, but it's money that you get to grant that company ownership of that voice. And it's very commonplace in the industry. So very nice perk if you ask me. Um, but yes, that is how I do pricing. I charge by the length of the script, the amounts of words, the amount of words in the script, the licensing, and also how soon they need it. So if they need it the same day, yes, you can charge for that and you should charge for that. So there's, there's extras that you can charge for um, but those are just kind of the basics. I have six years of experience in radio broadcasting. I want to get into voiceover. Exactly. If you have any sort of experience on the mic, in radio, DJ, um, anything that uses your voice, public speaking, if you're a teacher, um, you talk a lot. This is great because you're already training your voice. You're getting used to hearing your voice out loud. You have some of the fundamentals of voiceover already. Um, and that that's just gonna give you a head start in the game. So for those of you that want to learn how to do this from scratch, I have a beginner's course, the link is in my bio. It's a step-by-step -step video series that I created that shows you what mic to get, how to set up the mic, um, the booth, how to make a booth at home, no matter what kind of budget you have. Also, we go over your voice, so warming up, the right exercises that you need to know to sound like a pro, and you even learn how to record. So in the matter of a week, you'll be recording your first professional sounding voiceover. Uh, so yes, that's in my bio, super affordable for those of you interested. Daughter and wife do voiceover on Fiverr, good pay. There you go, there you have it. You heard it. I'm not making this up. I'm gonna pin your comment right there. It's true, a lot of people are making good money.
and I am living proof that uh, you don't have to you don't have to have connections. You don't have to be a celebrity, have an agent, have all this fancy gear. I mean, you can, but you don't have to. Like I said, I'm doing this from home. I uh, I have a USB mic, you know, and it's it's the most important thing is the voice, is you, how you sound. How much do you make? How much did you start off making? Uh, so about three to five K each month, eight K being the better month. Um, but there's, like I said, there's people that are making a lot more than that. I know a guy was making 10 K a month, easy. Uh, that's over six figures a year. So, um, it just depends, but I do know that female voices do have a slight competitive, uh, competitive edge because, um, I also work with my sister. We do voiceovers together and she actually gets a lot more requests than me. And sometimes they pay her more than me. Um, so that's good news for any aspiring female voice actresses listening right now. Um, what else do we got here, guys? And I'll do my best to get to all the questions, but they like TikTok just sends 50 questions all at once. So I, that's why I'm doing this to scroll up. That's why I get close to the camera sometimes. But uh, thank you guys for your questions. And I'm glad that you guys are interested and curious about the art and craft of the best side hustle ever. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi, I do have a page and demo. Just not sure on where to get jobs and gigs. Okay, great. So you got your demo. I assume that you've already taken some training. Your voice sounds good. Uh, so now you can sign up on Fiverr, Upwork, ACX, set up your profile and uh, they'll send traffic to you and you'll want to send messages to them and close a deal, negotiate a deal and close it. <clears throat> For those of you who are more advanced, uh, I do have a more advanced course called Voice Over Freedom. It's on voiceoverfreedom.com. That goes into more of the marketing, repeat business, um, more of the editing, EQ, compression, noise gating, a lot of the, of the more advanced stuff is in that one, <clears throat> for those of you interested. My son is autistic. He wants to be a voice actor. Any recommendations, please? Um, so the, the main thing is to just start experimenting, you know? Have fun with reading out loud, with, with just experimenting with your voice. That's the best place to start is have fun with it. Just if you hear a commercial, if you hear an ad, repeat it. Try to repeat it. Uh, the way they say it. Pay attention to how they say certain words, how they use certain pauses, because the ones that you hear, the voices that you hear on the TV, those guys are the pros, the pros of the pros. So by emulating the best, by shooting for the moon, you're gonna be in the stars. So try to kind of emulate the talents that you hear. So that's what I recommend. Experiment and um, just practice and have fun. It's supposed to be fun. So make sure you're having fun every single step of the way. How much do you make? Okay, I answered that off. <clears throat> I ordered the course. We'll contact you by this Monday. Awesome, Rudolph. Congratulations on investing in yourself. And if you need any help logging in or with any of the uh, content in there, feel free to reach out to me. I want to make sure that you're taken care of. Uh, what else do we have? Hello, mic recommendation, especially for traveling. Um, so this is a great mic because it actually folds. So this is the Yeti Pro, as you can see here. And it just folds down like that. Compact, convenient. It has its own built-in stand. So I like to take this for traveling or sometimes just recording on my desk. It's high quality. Um, there's also a more affordable model. There's the Yeti, which is the model before this. This is the model after it, the Yeti Pro. So this one's, a, this one's better because it picks up your voice better, it's more clear. Um, do you have a post that showcases a solid starting kit? Also is a soundproof room booth necessary? Uh, a booth, a good booth is necessary, yes, but that doesn't mean that it has to be complicated, doesn't have to be overly done. Um, you know, if you want to just start out and practice, you can use things around your house, like blankets and pillows. I've done it before and it's, it's no problem as long as, um, as long as it's not echoey, there's no reflections in your room, then you're gonna be sounding great. 
Uh, but yes, you do need to record in a quiet, well-treated space. That is very important. Great questions, guys. How do I do this? And so we go on Fiverr and look for voiceover gigs. Yes, yeah, so yes, Fiverr is a great website. That's where I went. But I want to make this very clear. Do not make the mistake of creating an account and just hoping that work is going to land on your lap because it doesn't work like that. This isn't an overnight get rich quick thing. Um, this does take some dedication and learning and love for the craft because it's an art like cooking or dancing. Nobody's perfect on day one. It's something that you have to learn and it's fun. It's a lot of fun, but you do have to dedicate some time to it, take some classes. You know, invest in, in yourself, training your voice, and then you can create that voice demo that you can put on that website that customers will listen to and book you. Um, so that is what I recommend. <clears throat> Great questions, guys. Make sure to keep those questions rolling. Um, what if my language doesn't trust freelancers? Should I learn an English accent? If my language doesn't trust freelancers? Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, who doesn't trust freelancers? That's kind of, uh, I've never heard of that. Because um, that's that's kind of like saying one person doesn't like the, doesn't trust the entire, like everybody. And that's, that's just impossible. There's got to be some people that they do trust. So um, I think you can do voiceovers in your native language because there's, there's voiceovers in all kinds of languages all over the world. I'll use Spanish as an example because I speak Spanish. Um, there's a lot of Latin, Latin speaking countries, Spanish speaking Latin countries. They have voiceovers all the time and they need Spanish speaking voiceovers. So ah, Spanish speaking voice talent for their voiceovers. So again, that's, that goes for any sort of language. <clears throat> So you don't have to learn an English accent necessarily. Just uh, focus on your voice and getting the right uh, demo and finding the right people. The right people will, will find you. My son graduates high school in June and wants to start making money in voiceover. Best way to start? Best way to start? Again, is train your voice. You need to learn how to emphasize the right words, how to discover your style, the best way to warm up, exercises that help you sound like a pro. These are things that I go over in my beginner's course. The link is in my bio. It's a step-by-step -step video course. So for those of you who are interested in learning this, are serious about taking that next step, I highly recommend looking at it. Um, so let's see what else we got over here. Do we need a microphone to, to do this? Yes, you do. Definitely need a microphone. It doesn't have to be expensive or anything, but you do, you do want one. Um, a USB condenser microphone is gonna be your best, best bet. Any ideas to make a demo reel? So you're gonna want a collection of scripts that you can that you can use. Um, I made my own. I listened to some commercials on the web and I just transcribed them. I wrote them down and I changed up some of the words and I made it sound professional. Um, so you can hunt some down on the internet. You can uh, make some yourself like I did. Um, if for those of you inside of my beginners course. You already have access to 10 um, different practice scripts in different genres. So you can feel free to use those. I made them myself. You can use those in your demo reel. But the point is you need scripts and you need to record those scripts so you can um, put that in your demo reel. You want to showcase different styles, not just one type of voice, but you want to show the different, uh, you want to show the highlight reel of what your voice is capable of in one minute. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's great you get your time back exactly exactly sorry i just joined your live where do you get the job so fiverr upwork acx and uh don't make the mistake of just making an account though I, I gotta make that clear a lot of people ask me you know where do i get work where do i get the the the, the jobs it's that's that shouldn't be the first question you ask the first question is how do i how do i get my voice right think of it like you're selling cookies the first question shouldn't be, where do I sell the cookies? The first question should be, how do I learn to bake the most amazing, best tasting cookies? And then where can I sell these amazing cookies that I've baked? So that kind of, I uh, hope that helps clear it up a little bit. Um, 
do you pay anything? No, the good thing is by signing up on these websites to do voiceovers, you don't have to pay to sign up. Some websites you do pay a membership, but the ones that I recommended are a lot more beginner friendly and you have a higher chance of um, landing jobs. I've done my research through the years and wasted a lot of time, months, and uh, just a long time on, on all on these different websites. So I'm giving you guys the sauce. I'm telling you guys which ones are the best ones. So that way you guys don't have to go through the, uh, you know, the trial and error. You already got somebody who has, has uh, done the research. I'm gonna take a quick sip right here. We're at 3,800 likes. Thank you guys for the questions. That's good water. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> what software do you use? A great software for beginners is Audacity. It's completely free. It's great for PC and Mac. And it's the program that I used when I started out. So I can I can vouch for it. It's a great program, easy to use. Um, Adobe Audition, for those of you who have Adobe, um, that one's 30 bucks a month. Uh, there's a, I use FL Studio. Um, that one's a little more expensive, has a lot more features, but um, you don't have to you don't have to start there. So there are free programs. GarageBand, if you have a Mac, is great as well. How about a flight attendant? We talk on the PA all day. Exactly. So if you're a flight attendant, perfect. You're using your voice. You're using a microphone. You are enunciating. You're being clear. So all of these, any anyone who uses their voice, even if you you've given speeches in high school or college, that's you're learning to use your voice and speak in front of people. That's confidence. There's different you know enunciation, different factors of a good voiceover. And so yes, that is great. All right, I think I gotta speed it up a little bit. I'm getting a lot of questions. I considered this, but worried AI is going to disrupt the industry. I think that's what you said. Yes, I considered, but worried AI is gonna disrupt the industry. So funny thing is, I did clone my voice and it's impressive. AI is impressive, but it's not a human and not even close because AI doesn't understand the script. It doesn't know what words to emphasize. It doesn't know where to pause or it doesn't have little nuances in the voices and it doesn't have, you know, I can't make it quieter like this and then transition to something more energetic like this and then kind of back natural. AI can't do that. AI is just one tone the whole way through. So an AI voiceover might talk like this. It doesn't really change much or fluctuate the speed. It sounds like me, but it doesn't really have much life. This is an AI voiceover, but my voice, my voice has a lot of life. Notice how I'm pausing, I'm kind of quieter, and then I'm a little more noisy, a little more loud, and wow, there's a sale. You know, those, those differences, only a human can do, and only a human can actually articulate so I'm not worried about AI at all, especially for cartoon voices, because cartoons are even more animated and a lot more unique. So no, I'm not worried about AI disrupting the industry. Um, how to start, you're in the right place. Um, you wanna train your voice. Um, you wanna learn as much as you can about the art. And, and uh, I do have a YouTube channel as well, I forgot to mention. Um, me and my sister do a podcast on there. So we kind of talk about you know, what it's like different topics that might interest you. So that's uh, that's YouTube channel. I have a perfect room for it. It's quiet and has no windows. Yes, so if you have a room in your house that is quiet, no windows, carpeted floor, if it has windows, make sure to close the windows. But basically it needs to be, it needs to be isolated. It can't be echoey. It has to be the opposite of echoey, just a dry, damp sound basically. They call it dry. In the industry, they call it dry. So uh, what I recommend are, um, of course, sound panels, which are the most professional, but you can use things around your house like blankets and pillows. You can use moving blankets from the hardware store. Those are affordable and they work great. A lot of voice talent records in their closet with moving blankets. So a little bit of insight there. Where do I find the jobs? Please tell me, people tell me all the time they love my voice. Um, so Fiverr, Upwork, ACX are great places for uh, finding the jobs. 
And if people are telling you that they love your voice, any sort of validation is just going to be good because it's, it's, it's definitely a sign that you should be getting into this. Not that you need the, the validation or to, you don't need people giving you compliments, but if you are, then it's especially a sign that you should be looking into this. Where do you get the job? So Fiverr, Upwork, ACX. Again, guys, don't make the mistake of just signing up on these websites and thinking the work is just gonna fall into your lap. Don't do that. This is an actual art. You have to dedicate some time to learning the art of voiceover. Um, I have people all the time, every day, they ask me the same question. What website? Where do I get the job? Where do I get the job? And I would tell them, I'd say, I work on Fiverr, I get jobs on Fiverr. And what happens? They sign up, they don't see any results, they don't know what they're doing, and then they say, oh, Fiverr, Fiverr doesn't work. Fiverr's, you know, um, they talk smack about it. Fiverr is just, Fiverr never worked. There's no, there's no jobs, it's too saturated. But you look at their profile and it's like, you didn't really listen to me. You gotta, you gotta train your voice. You gotta make a good demo. You gotta know what you're doing before you just get out there willy nilly and sign up. So I'm, I'm trying to emphasize the importance of your voice, the talents that you have. Um, and again, it's, it's not, it's not difficult. You just gotta know kind of the right ingredients and kind of what to do, the right exercises to get you sounding like a pro. Uh, but great questions, guys. I appreciate the questions. And I, is Fiverr the only platform you use? Uh, now it's the main platform I use, yes, um, it is enough. I also have clients that I work with one-on-one. -on -one. Throughout the years, I have built like this pool of people that work with me directly. So they will send me an email with the script and voiceover and I'll just send it, I'll send them an invoice through PayPal and we're good to go, so, um, so yes. What if I didn't get so many orders in my language? Should I train on an American accent? It doesn't hurt. It definitely doesn't hurt. Um, the more accents, the more voices that you train yourself on, the, that, the more marketable you become. So yeah, it doesn't hurt. You know, Like I said, experiment. Experimentation is a big part of voiceover and learning this art and learning this craft. Like I said, you know, it's fun. Just have fun with it. When you hear an ad on Netflix, try to say it like they said it. That's pra that's practicing. That's training yourself. Um, every day you're going to get a little bit better. So, yes. My kid is autistic too. And they make videos doing voiceovers on YouTube about their favorite show. Very nice. Yes, I like that. So, if you're on camera, if you make YouTube videos, anybody that uses their voice, you're already in a good... Uh, you have a good head start. So, I like that. Why is that question off? It's a valid question. I'm not sure which question... Do you use a booth? How do you prevent echoes and room noise? <laughs> so I'll usually record from a closet booth that I have. I posted a video on it yesterday on my TikTok. So if you look on it, you'll, you'll find it. But it's, uh, it's basically sound panels on the wall, an acoustic panel and a mic on a mic stand. So nothing too crazy fancy, but it does look, it looks, it looks good. It looks nice and clean. How do you get hired? So the key to getting hired or um, getting booked is your voice demo. Your voice demo is basically showcasing clients what your voice is capable of. And it makes sense, you know, clients want to hear your voice. So the demo is basically gonna show them different, different styles you can do, um, what you sound like, what your audio quality is like in a, in a, in a matter of one minute. That's another pointer. Your demo should be about one minute to two minutes long tops. Some people make the mistake of making it drag out too long. And it's bad because you got to remember, think from the customer's perspective. They're late listening to lots of auditions. So you got to be able to impress them within that short time span or else they're moving on. So that's a little bit of a tip there. Thanks for taking the time to answer the questions. Yes, I'm very happy. I'm very happy to do that. Glad you guys are enjoying this and just hanging out. Um, we're just having a good time, vibing. How long did it take for you to set up your ACX account and start work? Um, ACX is mostly audiobook related. Um, it doesn't take a long time to set up an account, but to actually find work, 
It it depends. Some people have told me they have gotten work ra rather soon. Um, others a little bit later. It it really just de does depend. But the general kind of feedback I've gotten from ACX is that they have picked up projects a lot easier because there's a lot of authors that want um, voices for their audiobooks. So that's why I recommend it, and that's how I know that it's a good website. Ideas to make a demo reel to get started. So you need scripts. You need different scripts in different categories and different genres. So you're gonna need some radio scripts. You're gonna need some commercial scripts, narration, documentary, maybe drama. Um, so different different styles. Explainer, whiteboard. Um, those are different. Guy next door, girl next door. Uh, choose different styles that you think you're good at, that you feel good with, and use that to showcase your voice because you can kind of use your own judgment as well to um, help you. Uh, where do you suggest classes from? Uh, I don't have any at the top of my mind. I might start offering classes soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, the only thing that I can really recommend is my own program because I made it myself. Uh, the link is my bio. That's for beginners to learn kind of how to start recording and train their voice. But um, I know that you can find local uh, voiceover coaches in your area. Um, so I don't have any to recommend you off the top. Plus we have people from, you know, all over the country tuned in. So um, it's just a matter of searching and finding someone that you do trust and uh, are happy to work with. Um, can you tell us about the demo you made? If you guys would like, I can play that demo for you. I don't usually do this, but um, if you guys want to hear my demo, type the word play in the comments and if I get enough people that say play I will play the demo so let me know um, that down below uh, my language mostly trust agencies I see I see okay well I don't know I would still try it don't doubt yourself you know sometimes that could uh, just be a uh, you know could be not true it could be that there are some people that trust freelance maybe you could change that perception maybe you could be the first trustable, trustable and dependable freelancer. Um, yeah, I wouldn't let that perception stop me. Um, I think the most important, the thing about companies is they want, they want voiceovers and uh, they want someone they can trust on, on. So if you can show and demonstrate that you're trustworthy, then I don't see any reason for them not to work with you. I mean, that's, that's just how I feel about it. Um, great questions, guys. Uh, what else do we have? If I skip over your question, I apologize, but I'm definitely doing my best to get to all of them. Here we go. Doo -doo -doo. Scrolling up. New here, how do you find the clients? So they're gonna be online. A lot of them will find you with your voice demo. You uh, upload that online and Again, these websites want to make money. Fiverr wants to make money, so they're gonna send your gig traffic, they'll be able to listen to your demo, and then you'll be able to uh, book sales that way. So again, demo is very important, but you gotta train your voice. You can't have a good demo without first training your voice. It's better to have a neutral accent. I'm from Southern US, very country, but articulate. As I mentioned, there is a need for every kind of voice. Um, you'd be surprised, but every accent has a different effect on people. And I would be, uh, I would be, I would be happy with that. An example I like to give is um, if there's a commercial for barbecue ribs, if you just get, you know, if someone were to hire me, I have kind of a more norm normal sounding voice, very normal, and I say, uh, Try our new smoky barbecue ribs. They're amazing, they're delicious. Now at Applebee's. But then if someone with a Southern accent says, come and try our steamy, hot, delicious barbecue ribs. Now at Applebee's, nobody makes them better than the South. It gives it a whole different feel and meaning, right? And that's what I'm saying. There are commercials, there are brands that need Southern accents sometimes that need certain voices for certain projects so um like i said there's a need for every kind of voice i'm gonna take a quick sip here thank you for the questions guys keep them coming
All right, let's hop back into it. Um, 911 dispatch. Are you a 911 dispatcher? That's really cool. Um, but yeah, that technically does, you're talking all day um, on the phone. Uh, that's really interesting. I would, I would be very interested in hearing some stories. Um, I mean, if you don't mind, uh, feel free to reach out. I think that's just super cool. Uh, where to begin? So you want to train your voice, like I said, learn the art, dedicate some time to practicing your voice. That means read, you can read out loud, uh, public speaking, and uh, eventually you will learn to use your microphone, your software to record a demo reel. So that is the process that I recommend. How do you get chosen? How do you list yourself? So the companies will be the ones choosing you. You put your demo online and they will be coming to you and they will be listening to you. So that's how you get chosen. Um, but also in the beginning, as I did, I started reaching out to people. So you can send messages to some people online and you can send your demo to them. That's another way to uh, get work. Great questions, guys. Let's keep let's keep the party going. <laughs> Former radio person, where do I sign up? So you want to sign up on uh, either uh, well, five well, Fiverr Upwork, ACX, or People Per Hour. Those are different websites that I would recommend that you could check out. Do you have any super basic tips? Uh, yes. Let's see, a super basic tip. I have a lot of tips. Now I gotta think about the super basic ones. Super basic tip, drink water. Hydration is extremely important. Sounds obvious. Sounds simple, sounds basic. But yeah, water goes a long way. It keeps you hydrated. And um, the, more hydrate, dry, uh, the more hydrated you are, the less saliva you're gonna produce. When you're dehydrated, your mouth produces a lot of saliva, which makes it, it makes your mouth really sticky, and that causes a lot of mouth noise and stickiness. So if you ever if you've ever recorded something and you've wondered why your mouth is making so much noise, um, a big part of it is probably because you were dehydrated, your lips were smacking. Um, so yeah, those are some reasons right there. So super basic tip to up your game: drink water, uh, lots of water, stay hydrated, and that will help. Where can I get training? I put together a course for beginners. It's a it's a step by step video program. Got to get some water. And I made it myself. It teaches you about the mic, how to under, understand you understand your mic, mic technique, uh, how to build a booth at home, no matter what kind of budget you have, um, and there's exercises in the course. You will learn about the exercises that you need to sound like a pro, how to warm up and how to sound polished. So um, you also learn how to record in there. So that's what I recommend for training. Does the room have to be really small like a closet? It doesn't have to be small, but I have known a lot of voiceover artists that do record in a small space. I And I have myself in the past. It works great. Um, small spaces work great, like a closet is, is really great. A walk-in closet, I would say, is even better. Actually, I'd say a walk-in closet is probably ideal. Um, closet is second ideal, and then a bedroom would probably be third ideal. Uh, because the size does matter, but all three of those are really great, um, great to use. I was thinking of using an oversized closet and putting some blankets up. Yeah, yeah, closet works, exactly. Can you show us your studio? Uh, so check out my TikTok. I did post it yesterday. Um, check that out. If you want to take a look at that. Smaller spaces lessen chance. Exactly. Smaller spaces lessen the chance for echoes. Exactly. That is very true. Where do I get the training? Uh, the link is in my bio. Check it out. Um, for those of you who are interested in getting started and making this come true. Uh, do a video on how to start. Uh, I do have my podcast on YouTube with my sister. We do a lot of um, a lot of discussion about 
kind of how to start, what's it like for beginners. We answer a lot of um, topics and interesting questions. So if, if you guys um, aren't ready to invest in the actual course, got content, content on YouTube for free with really valuable information, uh, voiceover freedom on YouTube. So highly recommend that. Any tips on putting together a good demo reel? How many different voice types should we showcase? Yes, I recommend four to six different types and different styles. Um, you need to learn how to edit your audio. You need to learn how to have a really good booth first to reduce any sort of noise, any sort of echo. There sh should not have any echo, any noise in your demo. Um, you need to learn how to mix music because your demos will sound better with music. So those are some tips to help you create the right demo. Best way I can promote myself? The best thing is gonna be your demo. Um, again, make sure that each style you pick is a good reflection and demonstration of what your voice can do. So don't pick scripts that you think you sound bad in or awful. Um, pick scripts that you're proud of and that you're confident speaking. So what are the right ingredients? The right ingredients to a voiceover are, in my opinion, and in my careful research, um, the speed, what you emphasize, so emphasis, emphasis, pauses, flow, style. Those are some of the main ingredients in, uh, in a voiceover. And when you spend de dedicate time to each one understanding each one um, you can create that voiceover you can give it life um, so and growing up I did do a lot of research and studying again I took speech classes so I would literally be reading about pauses like a whole chapter about pauses and and uh, emphasis and energy and all of this so each each ingredient has an effect on your voice. I've been seriously thinking about doing this. Glad I found your content. Awesome, really happy to hear that. You're definitely in the right place. We're almost at 4,000 likes, guys. Can we get there? Can we, can we get a couple more likes going? Uh, will AI replace voiceover? No, I, I don't think so. At least not in, in the near future, in the near foreseeable future. Super great content. The fact that you sell a course makes this less appealing to me though. Anytime somebody sells a course, it tends to be a red flag. Well, I'm here live, I'm, a, I'm an open book. I'm answering, um, I'm here to answer questions. So hopefully I can gain your trust by the end of this live. Um, but the reason I am doing this is because I wanna help. I love voiceover, I'm very passionate about this. And again, you don't have to buy anything. If you don't feel, if you don't see value in what I'm offering, then don't, you know, by all means, don't. That's not what this is about. It's supposed to be helpful. Um, and I do have free content. Don't forget, I have a, vo a, um, a YouTube voiceover channel. So uh, check that out. I have free value. So, so it's not like you have to pay to get, you know, some of the training. Again, I made the YouTube content and it, all of this takes a lot of work. Making a course, making a YouTube channel takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of buying equipment. It takes a lot of editing. You know, I didn't have to make any of that, honestly. Um, I was doing fine doing voiceovers, but I want to help people. And I, I was being asked all the time by friends, family, you know, how do I do this? How can I get started? So um, uh, that's what encouraged me to make these channels. And I hope that you guys are getting a lot of value to it. And I hope that that's a very green flag that I'm being so transparent and I'm being so open and honest with you because um, I'm really just here to help. So hopefully, like I said, I can gain your trust by the end of this live. So thank you for asking, by the way. Uh, yes, please. Play, 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 play. Okay, cool. We got a lot of people interested in hearing my demo. So the proof is in the pudding, guys. Let's go ahead and play that demo. Um, let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. Thankfully, I have it ready here. I need to update my demo though, because it's been a couple of years since I recorded this one, but here we go. Three, two, one. This is Dave. 
Dave is an independent hotel owner, managing a 30-room hotel in Prague. His hotel has been family-run for several generations. So what exactly goes into the home buying process? Let's take a look at the 10 steps. Step 1. Choose your real estate agent. Sit down with your chosen agent to discuss your real estate wants and needs. Downloading your new app couldn't be easier. For Android users, you'll have to enable unknown sources. To do this, simply go to your settings. Thank you for calling your tax solutions. All our specialists are assisting other clients. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message. We will return your call as soon as possible. Do you have a pyromaniac dad? Loves to grill, but sometimes gets the flame too high? Everyone will love to come to his barbecues when he cooks the food just right. Meet John. He wants to promote his new business. He soon hired an animation agency that produces amazing videos to explain his new business. Thanks for watching. Enjoy that video? Don't forget to like or comment below. Or, for more videos and trailers, hit subscribe. Also so you've done your research and made up your list of matched employers. None have been missed. It's time to... So that was the voice demo. That is the actual demo that I sent to customers. Like I said, it has been a couple years since I've updated it. And um, that is a reminder for me to update it because I've definitely improved since then. But as you can see, that is a culmination of different styles, different genres, different examples. One moment you're hearing a storybook, the next moment it, um, a voicemail, the next moment a YouTube outro. So all uh, very real scenarios. I'm a freelance audio engineer. I always get voted to be an MC. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so if you got experience like in audio and mixing, MC, radio, speaking, that's, that's, those are skills that you can transfer over to voiceover. Do you need an agent? No, you do not need an agent. It's best to be your own agent, uh, my personal opinion and experience. What are they looking for in a demo? They're going to be listening to what your voice is capable of. Every customer has an uh, idea of kind of what they're looking for already. And so by listening to the demo, they want to know if you're going to be a good fit for them. So that is your demo's purpose. It's to highlight what your voice can do and do the selling for you. And that's why it's so important to make sure you train your voice, that you sound good on the mic and that your demo is, is uh, as good as possible. So should I start my business? What are they? Uh, yes. Should I start my business? Do you mean like, should you start doing this? I think if this is something you want to do, then 100%. If you think this sounds boring or unappealing, then don't. But I think most of you guys are here because you're curious about it and you're interested in it. So if you are interested in it, then yes, do it. I think you should do what you're passionate about at the end of the day. This is your decision. What you want to do with your life and what you want to learn, I think is up to you. But for me, this was something that I love. This is something that's fun. I love being on the mic. I think that it's the best side hustle. And uh, again, it's opened up so many opportunities. It pays well. And uh, I have a genuine love for it and I love talking about it. Hopefully that comes out in my uh, expression here. <clears throat> so Fiverr, yes, Fiverr is a good one. Hold on, I'm scrolling up, I'm scrolling up. Is this a pre-recorded live? Hmm. What do you guys think? Is this a pre-recorded live? I don't know. Maybe I'm a hologram. Ooh. Uh, let's... Sorry, the music kind of tweaked out. Um, how do we learn how to develop our voice? I just came back. So, it's a process. It's an evolution. That's one thing that I want to... It's a process. It's an evolution. And a big part of that is experimenting. Practicing different styles that you've never practiced before. And every time you try something new, you're challenging yourself, your mind, your voice. And it's kind of... You're starting to learn what your voice can and can't do. Because before I started, I had never really done all of these different styles, but by trying them, by listening, and by 
copying, kind of emulating other voice artists or other professionals, I started to learn more about how to um, develop my voice. Why doesn't PayPal auto-connect? I was in until that happened. Uh, shoot me a DM and I'll help you out. Oh, okay, that makes sense, thanks. They just need to be 10 second long clips. 10 second long, oh, you mean in the demo? Yes, um, it just, it, it can be short. Yes, that's, that's correct. So again, your whole demo should be maybe about a minute to two minute long. It doesn't, and I, I don't encourage it to be longer than that at all. Um, yes, 10 seconds or so is fine for the demo. Yes. <laughs> what if I have an accent? The accents are fine. L other languages are fine. You can do this. Like I said, there's a voice. There's a need for all kinds of voices. Can you really get started on Fiverr? Yes. Fiverr is a good place to start, but again, don't make the mistake of just signing up all willy-nilly, not knowing what to do. Um, it doesn't work like that. Uh, you have to train your voice first. I don't want you to sign up and get discouraged. Um, so I'm telling you what you need to do to make sure you have the best start possible when you do sign up. Um, so train your voice, practice a little bit, learn the exercises necessary to make sure you can bring that script to life and then learn to record, edit, put that demo together, slap that puppy online and you're off you go. You're good to go. What mic do you use? So this is the Yeti Pro. Um, it's a $230 mic, USB mic and XLR. So it's easy to travel with. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I just like this mic a lot and they have a, a more affordable model which is $130. That one's called the Yeti. Yeti, like the, like the myth. Um, but again, the first mic I bought was a $50 USB mic. So again, it doesn't have to be fancy, but I would strongly recommend something at least a hundred bucks. It's just, especially if you're gonna do client work, it's just, it's just worth it. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real here, but no shame if, if uh, you want to start out on something a little more affordable. Do you need an LLC to do this? No, you do not. Okay, yep. What did you do to train your voice? So you want to uh, practice exercises. Like I said, you want to read out loud. I did a lot of reading out loud. Um, you want to find different scripts, uh, bring those to life. You just practice, just read them. Listen to how other professionals do it. That's how I learned a lot, is listening to other people already doing this. Um, a lot of the exercises that I learned, I put in my beginner's program. So again, if you guys are ready, like those of you ready to take the next step, check out the beginner's course. It's literally 27 bucks. It's the cost of a large pizza to get started in this, you know, learning how to record and what mic to use, how to make a booth at home, um, using things around the house or sound panels even. Um, all of that you will learn in my step-by-step -step video course. Super affordable. Again, link is in my bio or voiceoverfreedom.com. Uh, thanks for the questions, guys, by the way. I really enjoyed answering them. Um, was there a class? The only classes I did was uh, some speech classes in college, and I did some drama and acting classes in high school. I may offer some classes in the future. I've gotten some people interested in that. So um, if I see enough interest, maybe I will consider doing uh, some really affordable classes where I can get a small group of people on a Zoom call or something. I think that'd be really cool. Um, but stay tuned, we'll see. Online YouTube class. So um, on YouTube, uh, it's mostly my po a podcast with me and my sister. My sister's also, my sister does voiceovers. And we talk about interesting topics about voiceover and about how to, you know, get started and things you might experience and obstacles or pitfalls to avoid, how to have good audio. It's really interesting. Like we really do our best to give you as much value as we can in the podcast. But the best content is going to be in the in the beginners course. Um, I made it that way intentionally because I wanted it to be as simple as possible for someone to get started in this. And that's what I did. Do you mentor? I really want to get started. Um, I do from time to time. Shoot me a DM and we can uh, work something out. 
I sing, I have equipment already. Yeah, if you sing, if you have equipment, you kind of like have experience on the mic, you're already ahead of the game, so that's good. Just purchased, awesome. Congratulations on investing in yourself. Welcome to the world of voiceover. Um, if you have any questions and need help logging in, just let me know, I'm happy to help. Thank you for being here. I've been wanting to do this, but didn't know where to start. Well. You're in the right place. Um, feel free to ask me anything. Like I said, I'm an open book. I'm just chilling here. Um, we'll see how many people we we have come through and how many questions we have. Thank you for the heart, by the way. Uh, appreciate that, M Maestro Cervantes. Thank you for that. Um, one of my friends has invited me to uh, go out tonight. So, but that's that's later tonight. Um, but in the meantime, I'm happy to hang out here, answer some questions. Oh, thank you for the cap. Did that just generate on my head? That's pretty awesome. Uh, thank you for that, Maricela. Thank you. Uh, thank you. For yep. <clears throat> so again, voiceover is the best side hustle in the world, in my opinion. Because, one, it's fun. You get all kinds of different projects every day. You, you never know what you're going to get. One day you can get a radio ad, the next day you can get a commercial, the next day you can get a video game. Um, another reason why it's an amazing side hustle is you don't have to travel far. You don't have to go to an office or a you know studio or to someone's house. You can do it from your own home, from your own bedroom. Because um, I did this from my parents' house. Again, I didn't have any gear. I was just going to college. And I, I had a job already and I was just doing this on the side. So those are some of the reasons why voiceover is an amazing side hustle. And we're at 4,800 likes. That is amazing. Uh, what kind of content did your first demo tape contain? Um, so my first one was very simple. I had a couple of ads. I had one for a cafe. Um, I think I had one that was, they were all commercial. Maybe I have the demo reel somewhere. And I'm sure I have it. Uh, that's a good question. Maybe I'll show you guys on another, um, on another live stream. I don't have it handy, but I, I'm pretty sure I kept it. <laughs> that would be kind of embarrassing to show you my first demo reel, but it would be good because you would see, hey, look, this is how he started. Uh, but it did sound pretty good. I, I you know, don't want to brag, but. I need info about this, please. Yes, feel free to ask me any questions um, about how to get started. Um, but the main way to get started is your voice, train your voice. Then you wanna buy a USB mic. You can start recording voiceovers, kind of playing with the software. And then you can make a demo that you can put online. So that is the stage there. That's the process there. Um, is there a software you would recommend? I used Audacity, it's free. That's what I used in the beginning and it's available for Mac and PC. <clears throat> in my beginner's course, I actually have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Audacity. So if you wanna learn how to use Audacity, better check it out. Um, or you could, you know, you don't have to, you could learn it yourself. There's, um, you, you kind of mess around. I, I was mostly self-learned, um, self-taught. But uh, it does take a lot longer to do it on your own that way, so. Uh, when there's a voiceover, do they tell you or explain the character or is this you? Great question, excellent question. I've never gotten this one. And sometimes it's one, sometimes it's the other. So sometimes they will send you a picture of the character. They'll describe the character. They'll say, this is Max the dog. He's super energetic, super happy. Uh, very confident, and he loves hanging out with his friends. So they'll give a general description like that, and then they'll give you the actual script. Other times, they won't be as descriptive. They'll just say, this is the character, I want you to play this character, it's a male. That's it. <laughs> um, they don't even have a picture sometimes. Um, and I'll ask them, I'll always ask questions. It's always important to get more information. Um, but I'll ask, um, 
Do you have any pictures of the character? Do you have any idea of what they would, what you would like them to sound like? Do you have any examples? Are there existing examples of characters that I can listen to that you like? So all of these things, these questions will make your job easier because you can um, kind of get more of an idea of what the customer is looking for. Okay, thanks. Yep. <clears throat> How long did it take to get con constant jobs? Um, it didn't take too long for me. It did not take too long. That's the thing I, I really love about Fiverr is they send you traffic. Uh, it's just a matter of you having a good demo and a good clear description, good price, easy to understand uh, profile. Um, but I got my first job within like two weeks, two or three weeks. And then from there it just grew and grew. It was like two, three, and four a week, five a week, and 10 a day. <laughs> it grew. Um, and it, again, it, it started as gas money, then grocery money, then I'm paying my rent, then I'm going on trips. I went traveling the world in 2018 for a year straight recording voiceovers, believe it or not. So this side hustle has changed my life and it can help you as well. For those of you who, you know, dedicate to the craft, dedicate to the art, um, it's, it's a really awesome thing. Um, bring it, uh, your basic intro of what they want as a book persona. Yeah, so exactly. So it depends. Each person is different. Again, these are real people, real companies, so they have different, um, requirements but some people will be very descriptive and very specific other people are just very vague and you'll have to ask them a few questions first yep <sighs> that's some good water water is a voiceover artist's best friend that's a very important tip I want you to keep in mind if you're going to do this. Woo! <clears throat> Voice is getting tired. Got to drink some more. But really great questions, guys. Thank you for asking. Definitely doing my best to answer all of them. Wow, awesome. That is the life. Yeah, it's it's it generally is. It's amazing. I I'm really grateful for it. I've learned so much. I love, I love doing it. And uh, on my TikTok, I post a lot of the jobs. I do a lot of the content, but I was, I do get to travel a lot doing this. I was in Brazil last month. No, month before last month in January. And before that I was in Colombia. So I was at the beach, I was at restaurants and I'd come to my Airbnb and record from there. So amazing. But yes, that's very true. Once we purchase, do we get to keep access to the videos? I might not be able to do it every day. Yes, so it is at your own pace. It's a one-time upfront cost. You get lifetime access to it. Simple. So, uh, you know, it's not a recurring thing. Um, it doesn't expire. So honestly, it's that's a really amazing deal. It's just 27 bucks one time. Uh, super affordable. Anybody who really wants to do this can do this. And that's what my intention, I wanted to make it affordable, uh, but I wanted to reserve that for the people who were most serious about this, who were most dedicated to it. Because the thing is, as, as humans, it's human nature not to value things that are free. It's, if it's free, you, you know, people don't, you won't really value it as much. But the things we pay for, we actually focus on, we listen to it, we study it. And that's, you know, that's what I want. I want people to actually dedicate to it. And, and that way I'm also able to focus on helping those people as well which I believe is the right thing to do. What else? I've heard mostly it's your own voice that's most sought after. Is that true? Um, there is a lot of truth to that. Normal voices are very much in demand and sought after because normal voices connect with everyday people. It's what we're used to hearing. So yeah, I think it's a very good, um, it's it's in the voiceover world it's called guy next door or girl next door where it's just basically just a guy talking casually and i've gotten a lot of 
work with that voice. Um, and I love doing it, it's such an easy one because it's pretty much your own voice. You do, of course, have to um, learn how to, you know, give it some personality. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of work for just your own voice. How do you get jobs when you don't have any experiences or references? Excellent question. Um, when I started, I started from scratch. I was a normal dude going to college, working a part-time job selling cell phones and phone chargers. And I didn't even have a mic. So if I can do this, you can definitely do this. Um, the best way to start is practice your voice. Practice reading out loud. Take classes if you can. Um, experiment with your voice. Like I said, you want to get to know your voice well. You need to learn the proper exercises to warm up, mic technique. Um, these are things that uh, I go over in my educational course, um, the beginner's one on my the link in my bio. I know I'm bringing that up a lot, but I just want to make sure p new people coming in are aware. Um, but yeah, the mo most important thing is your voice. Train your voice so that you can then learn to use the mic, the audio software, and make a good demo. Um, that's what I recommend is uh, train your voice, uh, practice, because that demo is gonna do a lot of the selling for you. So you don't need to have experience starting out. You don't need references starting out. You don't need an agent, a studio. You can do this all from the ground up, on your own, at home. And yeah, and, and, and that's, that's what I got to say about it, so. I wanted to do this for a while, researched it, then chickened out. Then you popped up. Hey, it was destiny. It was meant to be. TikTok knows. TikTok knows and they brought me to you for a reason. So uh, I'm really glad that you're here. Uh, and uh, yeah, feel free to check out my website, as you said. Cool, I'm going to head to your website. Thank you. Yes, check that out. Um, really good stuff there. And uh Again, I do have a YouTube channel as well where I have a podcast with me and my sister and we go over a lot of topics related to voiceover, things that beginners might find helpful. Um, so very cool stuff there. And thank you for the big love. Appreciate that. We're at 5,600 likes. So thank you guys for the love. Definitely appreciate that. Oh, wow. I got some glasses. I wish I could keep that. The glasses on my eyes. That was actually a really cool effect. There we go. Maybe if I put the light up here, it would look a little bit better. I feel like I was starting to look like a... There we go. Hey, hey, go, go, go. Go ahead and keep those questions coming, guys. But I'm going to take a little sip of water here. Hey, go, go, go. Vibing. Dance with me. Move with me. Vibe with me. Let's go. Drinks in the air. Drop the beat now. All right, let's uh, hop back into the questions. Let's see what we got. Probably lost like half of the people just for my horrible dancing. It's okay though, it was fun. Uh, what do you recommend for a DAW? So for beginners, I recommend Audacity. Um, for more advanced, something more advanced, Adobe Audition or FL Studio is gonna be a good way to go. But there's a lot of different audio programs. Those are just the ones that I'm more familiar with. So Audacity is free for Apple and PC. You're still doing a live? Did you hit 20,000 likes on your last one? Uh, funny thing is I took a break. I did a live. I'm trying to do two lives, one earlier in the day for uh, for those people and then one early one around this time for people who were working during the day Because not everybody well a lot of people work during the day. So That's why I try to do two um, But I did take a break. I made some pasta some alfredo 
and I came back. We did, we hit 23,000 likes on the first one. It's the record. It's the record for likes on any TikTok I've, I've gotten, which was really cool. I'm an audio engineer. Only makes sense to try it out. Oh yeah, if you're, you're already, if you're an audio engineer, that's a whole segment of voiceover. You already know the mic, the equipment, you already know how to use EQ, compression, noise gate and limiting. Like that's that's already a big chunk of the of the uh, process that you've got mastered. So yes, if you're an audio engineer, definitely hop into it. Um, you might get more use out of, uh, I have a more advanced course called Voiceover Freedom, which goes more into the marketing, kind of repeat business, um, negotiating deals, how to set up your profile the right way um, on Fiverr. Um, you also get a guide which has all the best websites, strategies to succeed. I go over royalties, everything you need to know all in one place. So that's on voiceoverfreedom.com for those of you looking for that. But uh, yes, I do recommend that. Do we need a fancy microphone set up to get started? No, you do not need a fancy mic to get started. Uh, mine's a little fancy, but it's only 250 bucks. Mics can get really expensive. They can get like to 250, I mean to like thousands of dollars. But you don't need a fancy one. My first mic that I bought was 50 bucks. Super cheap. Uh, Log in from two devices at both times and double your presence. Yes, but I would have to make, uh, I would have to grow the account. You have to have at least a thousand followers to do that. Um, but we are working on that. Uh, my sister has a TikTok now, but you have to have more than a thousand followers. So yes, I will consider doing that. Uh, very good idea, uh, Queen's Scurry Kitchen. Definitely very good idea. I've even thought about getting her to go live with me, but uh, again, her TikTok account is brand spanking new. We gotta grow it first. We gotta get content on there, and uh, it takes time, you know, some time to grow the TikTok. I remember when I started TikTok. When I started this TikTok, it was, whew, it was a lot of work. I didn't know what I was doing. I spent a lot of time on videos. Nobody saw them. So I'm just happy that it all paid off. That I'm here with you guys today, actually, you know, talking about something that I love to do. So that just, it's really cool. Thanks so much for helping us get into get into this. Yes, definitely. I'm happy to share this info with you. Like I said, I'm an open book. I'm here to answer your questions. Every question I get, I answer it. You know, I'm not trying to withhold any information. I just want to help and be transparent. I think that's the best way to best way to be to build trust is to just be real and uh, you know be here to help. So. Can I do voiceover work with any laptop or do I need certain specs? Most laptops today can um, run the audio software required, uh, but if you want to get into details, anything with four gigabytes of RAM or, or higher is going to be the, re the requirement. Um, I have looked at the specifications of some of the most popular audio softwares and four gigs of RAM is going to be the minimum. Of course, the more you have, the better, and that's going to only help you especially in some of the fancier softwares, but um, as long as you have four gigs of RAM at the minimum, minimum. I have a Blue Yeti, it good enough? Yeah, that's good enough to start. That's what I That's what I used starting out. I have the Pro now. This is the, the higher up model. And this one's uh, sounds clearer than the Yeti, but I did use the Yeti for a while. But you'll get better vocals out of this. Um, but Yeti is just fine for starting out, so yes. Great choice in that. What website can I go to to get started? Uh, Fiverr is what I use. Upwork is another good one. People per hour. But again, I say this every time that someone asks me that question. Do not sign up on there without knowing what you're doing, without training your voice, without having a good demo. Because people in the past, I, I've seen it myself, they sign up, they don't see any results. And they, they get discouraged and they give up. And then they they talk bad about Fiverr. They say, Fiverr's, Fiverr doesn't work. I tried it. I, I was there for two months, no work. But I look at their profile and it just, there was nothing, you know, nothing very compelling on there. The demo was not even there or it was not even very good. good. So you can't skip the first steps, which are training your voice, learn to use your audio uh, software, your mic, learn mic technique. 
learning the exercises you need to know to sound like a pro. Again, I put a beginner's course for this purpose. It's a step-by-step -step video course that you can get in the link in my bio for those of you who are interested in taking that next step. Check that out. Um, it's gonna save you a lot of time and it's gonna be the quickest way to actually get started in this. And like I said, it's, it's super affordable. Um, but yeah, that's what I do recommend. What else? What computer software do you recommend to facilitate recording and editing? So you wanna get a laptop that doesn't make very much noise, um, something with a quiet fan. Uh, the laptop I had before was very bulky and heavy and it made a lot of fan noise. And because I travel a lot, I, I need a laptop. And so eventually I used the money I was making from voiceovers to buy a um, one of those smaller, thinner laptops. I think they're called, uh, what are they called? I forget, but anyway, the one I have is the Asus ZenBook. I'm probably gonna upgrade it because it's, it's already a couple years old. It's like five, six years old, but um, that's what I recommend, just something quiet and lightweight if you want to travel. Um, you can use, you know, some of you guys have the desktops at home um, with the actual towers. You can use that, but a lot of these desktop towers make a lot of noise and oh it's it's it is going to be picked up by the mic if you're close enough so i caution against that if you're gonna record with a desktop you need to find a way to move your tower further away so it's doable but you got to keep that in mind your recording space has got to be dead silent so no uh you know fan noise from your computer um how do you recommend getting noticed on fiverr for your first gig so a lot of that is going to be on having a good picture, a good profile picture, good pictures on your gig. Um, it needs to be clear what you're offering. Um, your description needs to be clear, easy to understand. The pricing should be consistent. So the same price in your description should be the same price um, at the top of your profile. Little things like that are actually going to make the best impression, but it does come down to the demo reel. Again, at the end of the day, how you sound is the deciding factor whether someone chooses to work with you or not it just is it just it makes sense like that's at the end of the day that's what they want your voice so they're gonna listen to what you sound like but to get noticed again you have to have good pictures a good profile make sure it's obvious what you sell and uh that is what i recommend there we're at 6,400 likes guys so very very cool uh, thanks for the love we set the record today at 23,000 likes. So maybe we can beat that. Still a little far away, but, but we're doing good. I'm gonna take a little sip of water here. Water is the voiceover artist's best friend. Always drink water, stay hydrated. This is gonna help reduce mouth noise. Have you ever noticed that when you make a recording, you hear kind of your lips smacking or you hear, or you make noise? It's because you're dehydrated. Drink water and your mouth will produce less saliva. When your mouth has too much saliva, your voice, your lips and mouth get sticky because saliva is sticky and you're gonna get mouth noise because of that. So water, simple tip, that goes a long way. Ah. What type of work genre is your favorite? Uh, for me, I love doing cartoon voice voices. Cartoon voice work definitely is going to be my favorite. Um, I just did one for a Nintendo Switch video game so i was voicing two characters and i believe it's a racing game it's coming out in june and i was the captain of the race team and he's an older man and he talks like this okay everybody get ready for the big race here we go on your marks get set go um so that was the voice that my character makes in the game i'm excited to see that i definitely want to play it um, but can you imagine that? 
having your voice in a video game on the Nintendo Switch, this is the reality of doing this, of doing voiceovers, making projects that people all over the world can enjoy, helping businesses sell a product or helping businesses thrive because of your voice relaying your message, relaying the message. Like you have an important job. This is, this is, your voice can make companies a lot of money. Your voice can help a lot of people. Um, so yeah, very, very, uh, very cool. Is creating a demo part of your course? So great question. It's not part of the beginner's course. Um, the beginner's uh, course focuses more on learning to record and learning how to kind of uh, use your voice, which are things you need to learn first before you get into the demo reel. Then um, I do have a more advanced course, which focuses more on marketing, demo reel, um, kind of getting repeat business, how to set up your account properly, strategies, um, learning about pricing, all that. Um, so if you want to look at the more advanced one with the demo reel part in it, uh, just go to voiceoverfreedom.com. Um, so great question. Uh, is there a voiceover cadence you recommend? Ooh, very, very inter interesting question. Yes. I'm going to take another sip. My throat is just getting dehydrated from all of the talking and all these voices. So let me just take another sip. Ah, so much better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. <clears throat> So you want to have a professional sounding cadence in any style that you do, any sort of genre or style, it needs to sound professional. And again, that comes with practice, that comes with experimenting. Um, of course, you want to find your own style because everybody has their own style and you want to give your voice its own personality because um, otherwise all voices would sound the same. But that's what I would say is um, sound professional, sound rehearsed, sound polished. <clears throat> and give your voice its own personality. Embrace your own voice. Uh, that's cool. Do you, do, your, do you save your recordings on an external device or do you submit? So I submit it online electronically. If it's on Fiverr, I'll just submit it through Fiverr directly. If a customer works with me through email, I will send it directly to their email and I will save all of my voiceovers on my computer. I have a folder that is labeled for voiceovers and I just put all of my voiceovers in there. So always save all your voiceovers. So. And Mario Bros. Yeah, I have done some Mario Bros. Um, voiceovers, not for the games, but for YouTube channels, like for passion projects. I have done some Mario voices. And that's one thing I forgot to mention. Don't think that you have to land this really big blockbuster role that's really hard to attain. Um, you can actually work with someone that's doing like a YouTube channel or a passion project or a local business, a local car dealership, or, you know, there's plenty of business in just your local city. Um, so don't think that the jobs are only these big, hard to land jobs, but there's a lot of small projects and these people are happy to pay for your voice. Today, I had somebody, no, yesterday, I had somebody book me for a voice of a video game character, of a very famous video game character, and it was just their own project that they do for YouTube. And they paid 250 bucks for something that took me maybe 10, 15 minutes to record. And they even left a tip. They can leave tips as well. If you do a great job, they, they can leave you a tip online. And I got a, like a $30, $38 tip. $38.50 as a tip. It's almost a $40 tip. Just as a thank you. Can you imagine that? That is the world of voiceover, my friends. And if you want to see that for yourself, just scroll down my TikTok. The video's there. It's all there. The proof is in the pudding. 
I'm just the messenger. I'm showing you, showing you the way, showing you this world. And again, like I said, you can start it as a side hustle and grow it to your main thing or just keep it a side hustle, but it, it is amazing. And I, I started it as a side hustle. I was already going to college. I was going, I had a normal retail job and I was just doing this on the side. I didn't really think much of it. I didn't know about all the potential and you know how awesome it was and how where it would lead but yeah i learned a lot about it and it is uh the best thing that has ever happened thanks great answer thanks for the advice my pleasure guys and thank you for being here i'm checking your videos what's your youtube channel it's called voiceover freedom so voiceover freedom on youtube tiktok and instagram it's the same name voiceover freedom so just type in voice over freedom. Like, do you just read what is typed? Uh, so they send you a script and you want to bring life to that script. You give that script life. So you're not just reading, but you are bringing that message to life so that the people hearing it can understand the message, understand the intention and um, connect with the message that you relay. So I'm going to be right back guys i'll be back in just one minute don't anybody go nowhere i see you um, but i'll be right back keep asking those questions i'll be back to answer more in one minute Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get ready to talk about voiceover. I see three of you left. I know who you are. I saw you. I'm sending the Ninja Turtles after you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Let's see, do we have any more questions that popped up while I was gone? Uh, which platform do you use to get gigs? So Fiverr, Upwork, ACX are good ones. I use mostly Fiverr now, but a lot of the uh, customers I have are just one-on-one. -on -one. I just talk to them directly. But uh, Fiverr, Fiverr is uh, one of the ones I recommend. Great for beginners as well. But again, make sure to train your voice first. Learn how to use your software, how to have a good mic technique. You gotta learn these things first. Voiceover is an art. Just like cooking and dancing, nobody's perfect on the first day you gotta really dedicate time to understanding the fundamentals of what makes a good voiceover so that's kind of what i'm here to help with i'm here to give you guys the sauce the secret sauce mm. ah. great question what is voiceover that's a good question so voiceover is when a company gives you a script and you record that script on a microphone and the company takes that voice, that audio, and they put it into any sort of media, which could be an audiobook, it could be a commercial, an ad on Netflix, 
it could be a video game, it could be an arcade machine. So those are all examples of voiceovers. It could even be something as simple as a voicemail, um, the announcements at the grocery store. Uh, attention shoppers, we have a five for one price on bananas. Thanks for shopping with Grocery Outlet. Grocery Outlet, bargain market. How much can beginners expect to make? Uh, everybody can set their own price, but in the beginning, like I said, for me, it started slow. It took me maybe two to three weeks to get the first sale. I don't know how to answer that question. It just depends how many uh, customers you get, how many orders you get. But this is something that you'll want to stick with if you want it to grow. Um, first month, I don't think I made too much on the first month. But I was doing it more just uh, just because I thought it was awesome. And then it did grow to gas money. Like I think I was making like 50 bucks a week. And then it grew to grocery money. So like 100, 150, 200. And then it was paying my rent, which you know, I was living in an apartment on my own by then. So again, it's a good side hustle. It's good to start it as a side hustle so you can keep your job, kind of make that, you know, 50, 100, extra 100 bucks here and there. Um, use that for your gas, groceries, whatever. And then uh, at, over time, you'll notice that more people start hitting you up and you can grow that into a more viable thing. So, Is there a big upfront expense for software, equipment, and microphones? No, there doesn't have to be. Uh, the software I used was Audacity, it's free. Um, equipment, you can... My first mic was a $50 USB mic, uh, but you can upgrade that to whatever you want later. So no, you don't have to... You don't have to break the bank. The mic I use right now is a $250... $230 mic. So nothing too crazy. But, uh... It is pretty cool. We have 6,500 likes, so I like that. I like that. Oh, this hat is so cozy. Do you just send an MP3 or something? Good question. Um, that is typically what I will send, is the MP3. Um, I do charge extra for Wave. Wave is a, is a bigger quality file that has a lot more value, so. Um, it's up to you. Some people like to just give the give the wave, but I do like to ch charge more for it, and customers are happy to to pay for that higher quality file. So yes, I send an MP3, but if a customer wants to upgrade to wave, they can upgrade to wave. So that's a that's a good question there. We'll take a little bit a little bit more water, and that's you know there's a lot of reasons why this is the best side hustle. <sighs> so, voiceover is something you can do from anywhere. As long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can do this from home. I've done this from hotels, my Airbnb when I'm traveling. Um, you don't have to drive to a big fancy studio or go visit a client somewhere. So there's no commute, there's no traffic you have to be stuck in. Um, again, it's very flexible. You can do this after work or before school. Um, so that's why I like voiceover as a side hustle. It's fun. It's something different. You learn a new skill set. You get to help brands and businesses relay this message to their customers to change the world. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's definitely something I love to do. Every script is different. Every customer wants something different. And I love that. It keeps you on your toes. So, you know how some side hustles are the same thing over and over, it's routine. Well, this is very different. And you're always getting positive reinforcement. Customers are always thanking you for um, the work that you do for them. So that's a very cool thing. 
Where do I sign up? So the websites I recommend are Fiverr, Upwork, ACX, and People Per Hour. Those are the ones I recommend. Uh, but again, don't make the mistake of just making an account without kind of following the advice I give. You have to train your voice, know how to bring a script to life, know how to use your mic, how to record in the audio software. Those are all important things. Um, those are things that I teach in my beginners course. I made a step-by-step -step video tutorial course that walks you through how to use your mic, um, how to make your booth at home using whatever kind of budget you have, and understanding how to use your voice, the exercises you need to know to sound like a pro. And you even learn how to record your first voiceovers in there. Um, the link is in my bio, it's just 27 bucks. That's the cost of a large pizza. So uh, definitely check that out if you're interested in taking the next step and learning how to do this. It's gonna save you a lot of time compared to learning it on your own. Um, so you're doing tons of lives. Gotta admire the commitment, sir. Yes, thank you, Diego. Yes, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be consistent. I think this is uh, lives is a good way to reach people. It's a good way to grow the accounts, uh, which is really difficult to do. Kind of how I mentioned uh, when I started this TikTok, nobody was watching the videos, and I was spending so much time making really good content, giving out advice. But it's hard. It's hard to grow on here. Um, it does take a lot of commitment. Uh, you got to pace yourself. You know, you have to. Sometimes you get negative comments. Uh, so you have to be very patient and just um, basically it's it's a uh, it's a job in and of itself but I think it's very rewarding it's very rewarding for me to see how many people are getting their questions answered who are getting the advice who are learning about this side hustle this world of voiceover that can help them or help someone they know and I think that's a really cool thing um, Cause it's, it's awesome, I'm, I'm passionate about this. I love doing it, I've been doing it for a long time so I can talk about it forever. Um, at least until my voice gets tired. But uh, hate to ask again, which mic are you using? So this is the Yeti Pro, Yeti Pro. There's also the Yeti, regular Yeti, which is a little more affordable, but a very good mic. We're at 6,500 likes guys, so thank you for the likes. The record was 23,000 today. <laughs> I don't think we're, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get there, but uh, maybe we could get to 10,000. That would be cool. But yeah, today, today's audience was, was really good. But you guys are really great too. I have an 18 year old son interested in voiceovers. We'll have to check it out. He is super talented. Yes, definitely check it out. Like I said, there's no age for voiceovers. You can, you can do this whatever age you are. Um, I've seen kids do this. You know, if you're 40, 50, 60, even better, there's huge markets. Your voice connects with a big demographic of people that have your same age. So think of it that way. If you're 40 years old, how many 40 year olds are there in the world? There's a lot. If you're 50, how many 50 year olds are there? There's a lot. So that demographic connects with people their age. And uh, there's just a big, big demand for voices in all kinds of uh, styles and languages and accents and everything so very fascinating isn't it uh i got a yeti yeah the yeti's good yeti's good and uh don't let anybody like talk down if, if you know there's there's i've seen especially on the internet there's uh there's always a hater somewhere that says you know oh that's that's not a real mic or uh, you know, that's not that's not what voiceover artists use. You know, these are things that I heard, but just don't pay attention to it. You know, at the end of the day, if you're helping people, if you're having fun with what you do, um, you know, you're making some money. You know, customers are happy, you're happy. I think that's what matters. So, uh, do you? Hello, do you do content? What type of equipment is needed to start? Uh, so you'll need a microphone. A USB microphone is going to be a good way to start. A USB condenser microphone to be exact. Uh, that's what I'm using here. USB condenser. So there's dynamic microphones, which they sell as well, but they're not as good for voiceover. Dynamic microphones are good for podcasts, singing, those types of things. But condenser is going to be the best, hands down, for voiceover 
So condenser microphones. That's because they're more sensitive. Is there an average realistic income to anticipate for a side hustle in voiceover? Oh, very good question. Um, it just, it really just depends like on the person. Um, everybody has, I've seen so many different results, you know, I've seen some people, one person was on my live this week and they made a thousand dollars in their first two weeks, which is, which is really good. Uh, they definitely beat me. I was, I was starting out with like, like I said, gas money, which for me is like back then was like 50 bucks a week. And then it became grocery money. So I was making, you know, hundred, 200 here and there a week. And I remember I was working my regular job. So this is just extra money just to help me out on the side. So I started as a side hustle and then it grew and I was paying my rent. And I told my dad like, dad, this, this voiceover thing is taking off. I think, I, I, I think I can, I can, I think I can do this for a living. And he said, yeah, that's, that's great. You know, he was supportive, but, uh, stay in school, stay in your university, you know, um, and what did I do? I dropped out. I dropped out. I said, I don't need school. I'm done with it. Um, funny story. I did drop out of uh, my university to focus on voiceover. And it was one of the best things I ever did because it literally has paid for everything. I've had a, I've made a full-time income off of it. I've changed my life. I've been able to travel with it. I've been able to, you know, pay off my car. I've been able to, um, uh, just everything. It's, it's really been a big blessing doing something I love. You know, now my voice is on video games and arcade machines and, uh, my dad's really proud of me. So I'm really happy with what I chose to do. And now I started this, you know, TikTok account, YouTube, and I'm able to reach a lot of people and show them that this is something that is real, that is, exists, that's very doable. And I think that's a really cool thing. And I think, uh, it's definitely, for me, it's a cool story that in can inspire people. It's very different, you know? I don't really know very many people who are, you know, have that kind of, um, that kind of a story, you know, where they just dropped out to grow their side hustle. But I love hearing about entrepreneurship. <clears throat> awesome story. This is what I want for my son. University is not for everyone. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, definitely. So. Follow what you love to do. Follow your passion. Do something that you love to do, that you're excited about. Learn a new skill. You know, I think it's important to try different skills. And sometimes, you know, if, you, if you're dedicated and you invest in yourself, you take the classes, you do the research, you practice, they can take off and they can change your life. Like, it, it changed mine. My sister did this too. My sister does this... Um, she uh, she started in 2015 and I helped her a lot. She, I actually trained her. She had braces. So imagine that if my sister can start it and she had braces, you know, I think that it's something very attainable. Um, and good news, if you're a female voiceover artist, then you have a slight edge in the competition because there's a huge demand for female voices. I've seen it firsthand. My sister gets more requests than me sometimes. And uh, sometimes people are willing to pay more for her. Yeah, true. But not to discourage any male talents. There will always be a need for male talents. But uh, women, actresses, they do, they're, they're, they're very high in demand. So just thought I'd throw that out there. Is Fiverr the only site you do this on? Or any others you recommend? Uh, so Fiverr is one of the main websites that I use. I get a lot of traffic from it, a lot of customers from it. Um, but I have used other websites through the years. And the ones that I can recommend along Fiverr are Upwork, ACX, People Per Hour. Uh, I use Voice, voice Money, um, but I'm not sure if Voice Money is taking voice over people right now. But they, I did work with them before. Uh, so yeah, those are the ones that I recommend. Thanks for sharing. How can I do that at home? So you want to get a USB mic, a condenser mic. Uh, you can use your laptop and then you want to make a home booth using either things you have around the house or you can get sound panels. And how can I apply for that job? I want to take a sip of water real quick, but thank you for the questions, guys. Keep them coming. Uh, I want to make sure I get to all of them. better 
Water is a voice talent's best friend. It keeps you hydrated. And when you're hydrated, your mouth doesn't produce as much saliva. If you have a lot of saliva, your mouth is gonna get sticky. It's gonna make a lot of mouth noise. So something to keep in mind. <clears throat> I wanna start, just bought a good mic. I need a pop filter though. Yes, you do need a pop filter. And there's different kinds of pop filters, but the one that I recommend is a foam, uh, I mean a metal, metal pop filter. There's metal pop filters, there's foam pop filters, and there's nylon pop filters. The metal ones are the best. I have mine with me. Um, if you guys want to see it, I'll show you. Um, but you're going to want to get one of these, especially if you use a condenser mic. Because the purpose of this, the purpose of this is to catch the air that comes from your mic, from your, from your mouth. The purpose of this is to catch the air, the gust from your mouth and stop it from hitting the mic. Because without this, when you speak into the mic, that air is going to hit that mic and it's gonna sound ugly. It's gonna sound like a, like a distortion basically. Um, so that's the purpose of this is to stop that air. And the words, any words with like a P in it um, or a K or a T are going to make those distortions. So that's why you need that. How do I get started? You're in the right place. I'm here to help you get started. So you wanna train your voice, kind of start reading out loud, different practice scripts. Maybe get a, a book that you have, read it out loud. Basically, you wanna start training your voice. Then you grab a USB mic. You're gonna to wanna to download some software like Audacity, which is free. And then you can start recording samples of your voice to put together a demo. And then you use that demo online to uh, show to customers and to start getting jobs. Again, I have a beginner's course. It's a step-by-step -step video program where I walk you through the mic, mic technique, how to build a booth at home, how to start recording, how to edit your audio, um, how to understand how to learn how to use your voice. So all of that is in there and it's super affordable. It's just 27 bucks to join the cost of a large pizza to learn how to get started in this amazing side hustle. So for those of you interested, the link's in my bio or just go to voiceoverfreedom.com. Um, very cool program. I put a lot of work into it. So it's definitely some of my best stuff. Uh, what kind of computer do you use? I use the Asus ZenBook. The reason I use it is because it's quiet, um, because I like to travel and I record while I'm traveling. I need something with a quiet fan and computers can make a lot of noise, especially if it's a desktop computer. So that's why I recommend something quiet and lightweight. But as far as power, um, at least four gigabytes of RAM, which most laptops are going to be at least that fast. I'm pretty confident. Uh, how can I add a battery like yours? Uh, so it's a green screen effect. Just go into green screen and one of them is gonna be uh, an option to add a uh, a, I guess they call it a sticker. Uh, please demo the differences between pop filter and no pop filter. Oh, that's a good one. Um, it's going to be a little hard to show you. I would have to show you a recording of what that sounds like. Um, let me see if I can... Uh, no, I can't. I can't right now. Uh, I'll keep that in mind for the next one. I, I like that question though. I'd love to show you the difference between uh, pop filter and no pop filter because I think you will be very shocked. But basically, if you have a microphone, just just like blow air into it, blow air into the mic, and you can hear the distortion for yourself. Uh, it does make a big difference. I've always done different cartoon voices. Do you have an example of a demo? Oh, I have my cartoon demo. I've never shown anybody about that. Um, if we can get to, I'll tell you what, if we can get to 8,000 likes, I will show you guys the cartoon demo that will let you know, that will let me know if enough people want to see it. Cause if nobody really wants to see it, then I'd rather just keep answering questions. But if we get to 8,000 likes, I'll play the cartoon demo 
for you guys and I've never played that so I'm kind of nervous about it because I it's been a while it's been a while but keep the questions rolling guys I really do appreciate these questions um, I'm really happy uh, that you guys are here hopefully we're having a good time you are so awesome I'm gonna purchase your course next week when I get paid awesome um, hopefully uh, we'll see you in there and if you have any questions um, let me know is the course pre-recorded yes it's a video course that I put together with footage of the different kind of equipment so I'm a videographer so I would actually I put together the videos kind of showing you step by step because you know there's only so much I can do on a TikTok live um, but the course has downloadable assignments it has downloadable um, practice scripts I put I made 10 practice scripts they're my own scripts with different genres that you need so I put that in the course um, the step-by-step -step video tutorial is on audacity so yes all pre-recorded but it's exactly what you need to get started and it's even better that way so that way you can kind of uh, uh, do it at your own pace because I know you got busy lives I just got your course awesome congratulations glad to have you in there if you have questions about like logging in um, let me know sometimes the email gets lost in spam so make sure to check your spam. Keep tapping the screen, guys. All right, you guys did it. That was super fast. I should have said more. <laughs> I should have said more because you guys got, got it there really quick. I didn't think it would be that fast. Um, show us. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the cartoon demo. You guys earned it. I feel like it was just you, uh, Sakura Bo. I feel like it was just you. I feel like you were like on your phone like this. I feel like you were like... Like you did all the like you tapped the screen two thousand times like this. I feel like that was you. That was that was, but regardless, we did it. So let's go ahead and hear that uh, demo. I'm I'm a little nervous. I haven't heard this um, in a little while. Whew. All right, here we go. Hey there, let's go. Hop to it. Did it. Yes. Great job. I'm hopless. No! Arr! Konnichiwa! Stealth! Shh! Quietly! Arigato! Hold on, that is one of them, but there is another better one <laughs> that actually has music. Give me one second, I'll pull that up. That is, that demo reel is one that just shows like all of the voices I can do. Oh, Trish Woodbury says I was fast tapping too. Okay, okay, you guys worked as a team. You guys, you guys did it together. I'm gonna play the uh, the one with music. This is the one that most people will hear, so let's go ahead and dive into that. Let's check it out. Here we go. Hope you guys are ready. Bum there we go let's try that again We get to sit with the princess. Mamma mia, I'm a little scared. I'm a tough guy. Nothing can stop me. I promise you all, revenge. You sure about that? I'll put a stop to you. I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go jellyfishing. Oh boy, oh boy, can I come too? And I'll see you all real soon. <laughs> to infinity and beyond. Can we just go to recess already? Come on. I can also create new custom voices just... So that was the cartoon demo. As you could see, it was very short, but it showed the different voices I could do in a very short time. And that right there has gotten me video games, cartoons, just different kinds of jobs. So if you can do voices, <clears throat> there's a big demand for it, big industry for it. It's so hard to believe that was all you. It was. If you want, ask me to do a, one of the voices from it. I'll do it for you live. So I have no problem with that. But yes, it is all from my voice. I I know, it's crazy, but... <clears throat> Ask me to do a, a cartoon character and I'll see if I can 
I can do it. <laughs> what does it pay? Ballpark. So currently I'm doing about three to five K average a month. On, a, on my best month, it'll be, well, my best month was 8K, but that's just me. Um, and that's on an hour max a day, an hour max. I know some people who do more. I know a guy who does 10K a month, <clears throat> easy. And uh, that's over six figures. And some female artists do a lot more than me too. So it definitely varies from person to person, <clears throat> but uh, that should give you an idea of what's possible. Is that the only job you have? It's my main job, yes. Um, I do some freelancing. I've done some photography, some video um, on the side as well. Um, but it's my main job that, uh, that I got, and I love it. I'll do the Mickey voice. Hi, Mickey Mouse! Uh -huh. I'll see you all real soon! Uh -huh. That was my Mickey voice. Uh, SpongeBob! Patrick! Hey, Pat, hey, Spongebob, let's go jellyfishing. So, it's me. It's definitely me. Um, again, it's just, I used to, uh, I, used, I just used to make voices a lot. I used to, I just think it's fun. Uh, you work an hour a day for that income? Yes, I do. I do. I get the script. I'm just very fast and efficient. They send me scripts. I get the details, I bring that character to life, I record it, I edit it, I'm fast. Uh, and just like a chef, when they're chopping up veggies, that's that's me, because of all the experience through the years. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> that was my Elmer Fudd. You know, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that sounded a little okay. Hank Hill, get that underwear off of your head, Bobby. Um, so I don't know a little something like that. George Jetson. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I, I haven't seen George Jetson in a while. Uh, but <laughs> that's kind of uh, what I sound like. This is what I've wanted to do for years. I have lots of voices. Well, take this as a sign to get started in voiceovers. TikTok brought you here for a reason. And I'm here to answer your questions, here to help you get started. Again, guys, for those of you new, I have an educational step-by-step -step video course that I put together myself. It has practice scripts in there. There's the exercises you need to learn to sound like a pro. You even learn how to record and edit your audio. And it's super affordable. It's the, size, it's the price of a large pizza. Just 27 bucks to have access to it. One time, you get lifetime access. So just throwing that out there for those of you interested. Um, and for those of you who aren't ready to invest in you know, the next step, I got a podcast on YouTube with my sister where we talk about topics about, um, you know, kind of voiceover and whatnot. Bugs Bunny? Did somebody say Bugs Bunny? Eh, what's up, Doc? Uh, that would be my Bugs Bunny. Duck season! Wabbit season! Duck season! Wabbit season! Duck season! Eh, ain't I a stinker? So that's a little bit of my uh, Bugs Bunny. Hopefully that kind of sounded like uh, like him a little bit. Amen. I don't want to do little things. I want to do big production. Yeah, exactly. Um, so there's uh, definitely an opportunity in this world if if you uh, find this interesting, if you find this fun, if you're you know very curious about this, then I think you're here for a reason, and I think you should definitely listen to what what your heart says. Listen to your heart. Um, because I think you should do what you're excited and passionate about. I think that's very important. Optimus Prime. <laughs> For Optimus Prime, I would probably use a computer effect to change my voice more. I have $27. Smirky face. Well, there you go. Link is in the bio. If you're interested, check it out. Um, I probably should be charging more for it, honestly. But, uh, I mean, get in there. It's it's it's. I want to make sure it's affordable for people, uh, for beginners. So, I think it's at a good... Good rate for now. Do you think I can use a headset with a mic to record voice clips on a... Um, I wouldn't recommend a headset. Uh, it's just... It's good for practicing in the beginning, so you can use that to start out, but invest in the mic. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a crazy expensive mic. My first mic was only 50 bucks. But if you're gonna use your headset or something you have around the house, it's good for practicing, but you gotta... For client work, you gotta get an actual 
condenser USB mic. It's going to make your life so much easier and clients are going to be much happier for it. What are your voice influences and have you worked with any voiceover celebrities? Uh, my influences... Um, I like Don Fontaine. He was the movie trailer guy. I think that he was pretty cool. I like... I was honestly just very fascinated by the people who did the cartoon voices on shows like The Rugrats, The Fairly Odd Parents. Whenever I would see a behind the scenes, I would just I would just love it. I thought it was cool. I even wanted to be a cartoonist when I grew up. Uh, but then I realized, you know, that's not really I don't want to be drawing all day. So um, I think voiceovers was definitely my calling, something I wanted to do. How do I find your podcast? It's on YouTube. Voiceover Freedom on YouTube. Uh, we're going to slap that puppy on Spotify and Apple soon, but for now, it's just on YouTube. So, check it out. It's re it's really interesting. It's uh, with me and my sister. She also does voiceovers, so you get to hear the female perspective of the voiceover world. Um, so, what would be a good site to go to work in the voiceover world? Fiverr, Upwork, and ACX are the ones that I like to recommend. Again, I always say this, don't make the mistake of just going to the website, signing up and expecting work to fall right into your lap because it doesn't work that way. I don't want you to get discouraged and give up. You need to really care about this. You know, you need to have a love for the, this passion. Um, it's an art, just like dancing and cooking. So it's not hard. It's fun. But you do have to kind of put some practice and dedicate a little bit of time into learning the exercise and how to, you know, control your voice and again that's why i made that beginner's course in the link in my bio in my profile I'm telling you to check it out that's literally I, I go through it step by step in there um but yeah you do want to make sure you get the right training and learn how to use your audio software and your mic so that you can make the best demo you can put forward your best you know put the best foot forward give you the strongest chances of success um uh, Thank you for the uh, all the love, guys. We're at 11,600 likes. That's pretty cool. Hola. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have voice Spanish or just English? So I do voiceovers in Spanish as well. There's a big market for Spanish voiceovers. Spanish is one of the most spoken languages in the world. So if you speak any other languages, there's more opportunities for you. If you do any other accents, if you do any other kind of voices, cartoons, impressions, all of that is marketable. All of that, you can market all of that. I'm gonna drink some water. <sighs> ah, that's good stuff. Water is a voiceover artist's best friend. Always keep some with you when you record. <clears throat> Is it possible to do this if I'm living in Canada? Absolutely. If they have commercials, ads, any sort of media with voices in your country, then they need voices for that country in that dialect. Because certain voices connect with certain audiences and certain demographics. For example, this is a, an example I like to give. Let's talk about like the beauty industry, right? If a company wants to make a commercial for the beauty and makeup industry, I can't, I can't connect to that audience the same way that a female actress can.